Welcome to ESC TV. I am Paulus Kirchhoff. I'm a professor of cardiovascular medicine at the University of Birmingham. I'm also still affiliated with my former alma mater, the University of Münster. And it is a great privilege to be joined here today by Stefan Anker. Stefan is not only the president of the Heart Failure Association, but he's also one of the main authors of a uh, position paper of the European Society of Cardiology on patient reported outcomes. Now, as a clinician, you may ask, what are patient reported outcomes? And this is exactly what I want to ask you, Stefan. What are patient reported outcomes and why are they relevant for a cardiologist? Thank you, Paulus. It's a great pleasure to really present on this today. Well, patient reported outcomes are those outcomes that are not measured in number of days alive longer or in hospitalizations. It's those outcomes that report on the well-being and the perception of the patient as reported by him or herself. It could be symptom statements, and we know, for instance, in heart failure, the New York Heart Class. It could be pain statements, but it could also be statements about perceived quality of life. For instance, there are a number of questionnaires that try to cover this. Now, Stefan, this is all very good, and it actually reminds me of the old Hippocratic Oath, where we as physicians or as healthcare professionals are obliged to prolong life and to relieve suffering. So is this really about relieving suffering? That's the idea. We need to be able to make statements about the suffering of a patient and the, its reduction in order to better understand the value of our therapies. I mean, this is also about clinical trials. This is about having trials that not only look for morbidity and mortality, but also take this subjective component into account report on this and the document gives some guidance as to how to do this and then most importantly and this is why it has actually ESC board approval to really then also make in our guidelines statements about patient reported outcomes. Now this is an interesting thing I mean I first felt well we already do this why do we need a position statement in 2013 by the ESC as an official paper. Um, you were part of the last task force of the heart failure guidelines and I helped a bit in writing the AF guidelines. There is a lot of patient choice and symptom improvement recommendations in the atrial fibrillation guidelines. How was that handled in the heart failure guidelines? Uh, well, we have of course also some statements about uh, quality of life and symptom improvement in these guidelines, but it's slightly inconsistent. We have this more for devices, more for end of life care and less actually for our drug therapy. And so that was one of the background reasons that triggered me to be really interested in this and persuade a, the group to really work on this paper, but then also talk to the ESC board and get general consensus that all future guidelines of the heart ESC have to consider making statements about patient reported outcomes in their possible recommendations. So it seems that this paper is an important step towards refocusing our dual approach to patients, not only in prolonging life, where, as you all know, cardiology has had tremendous successes in the past, but also in improving well-being of patients. And I think this is a very good and important step, and I would like to congratulate you and the co-authors on this important paper. Thank you so much. I believe this will improve our holistic approach to medicine and further strengthen it and, and focus us in this aspect as well. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan. ESC Congress 365 is your free access to ESC Congress content all year long.